Sheffield Wednesday versus Morecambe. This is a very big game indeed. Who would have thought we would have been saying that a couple of years ago? Hi guys and welcome to this video. If you could like, share and subscribe to the channel, I would much appreciate it. Liking out the algorithm, sharing it in front of the face, people's faces and subscribing letting me know you like the content and here you hit that notification bell, it will let you know when video go live. You want more Talking Wednesday? Me and Dirty Box James talk about all things Wednesday every Tuesday at 5pm on his channel and it's on all podcasting platforms of choice. So yes, this is against Morecambe and it's a must win game. Now the transfer window been and gone, we brought in Dean Story and Tyler Jules. We've also lost Lewis Wing who got his loan deal cut short and he joined on a permanent to Wickham. Cue the Wickham goal versus us. And Ad- Addy Owen has also left to go to Atkinson Stanley for an undisclosed fee. Also, similar kind of thing. Cue the goal from him and people saying, but good luck to both of them. Uh, it's a shame about wing, it didn't work out, but we move on to the, the here and now. We are playing Atkinson Stanley. Now, they have managed to keep hold of Cole Stockton. He is a big player in, in their team. So let's look at the lineup for Wednesday. It peak at Farrell in net, Dory Dean, Hutchinson, Mendes Lang, Dele Bashiru, Byers, Bannon, Johnson, Windass and Canberry. The bench is Wildsmith, Palmer, Hunt, Brennan, Patterson, So and Berahino. There is no mass Lu- Luongo. I'm hoping it just because we've got a lot of game coming, a lot of game thick and fast, you want to see what he's like and just keep the legs a little bit because we know how injury prone he is. Uh, I hope that's the case. Uh, that was my only concern with wing going. That line up for Morecambe and Carson, McLuhan, O'Connor, Buden, Deguerra, I can't say it, Docton, Iola, he did really well. well Philip McCotlin, Clooney and Garnon. Uh, the subs are Leithen, Walla the Q, Connolly, Abika, McCall Mount, Fine, and Bennett. This will be an interesting one because the last game we played against them at their place, we absolutely battered them, but they had their chance, they took it, they were one nil up, and we struggled to get back into the game after that. It'll be interesting to see what this lineup is tonight in terms of formation. Could we see an interesting change? There was talk of possibly doing a four at the back. If you have a look at what you've got, you've got Dory Dean Hutchinson. So it's probably going to be another three at the back kind of thing uh, with Bayer playing that math role, hopefully. But we'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting, but we need all three points. Sheffield went they all over them in that first half. Had some good chances, but none of them clinical enough, and that's our issue. The big two big worries in this game, though. First thing, Harley Dean goes off injured. It looks like he might have done his hamstring. That interview is going to come back to haunt us when they said it. Uh, is this something to do with our pitch now? Uh, not just a training pitch. He's not played in two months as well, so playing, making him play another game in quick concession might not have been a good idea. But we're having chances. Canberra looked decent, but just no finishing there. His touch had been okay at times, but not great. Windath had a chance. Lang been going, cutting in inside and doing okay. They've had chances where they got four, where it's been a lack of our discipline at times at the back, but because of change. But at the same time, you're thinking, right, let's go through it. There is a lot of injury time at the end of this due to their keeper had an issue due to... Um, he basically got a, he looked like he got a full four kick to the face on the ball from Windass. He went down once and then he went down again and they subbed him off. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's ridiculous uh, how he kept stayed on. I would have thought you would have wanted to take him off. But that being said, we made a lot of chances but not buried him. Johnson had it in the back of the net. He had it in the back of the net but he was offside. And then right near the end, uh, really no one... It, he run for the ball, fears to get clattered and he's been taken down and he's rolling around on the floor in pain. He is in a lot of pain. He will not be back out for the first half. This was my worry with everyone saying, oh, Wingo, let him go, let him go. Oh, we don't need him. If Fizz is injured, we now need a midfielder. 
We now need a midfielder in that part. And Fizz has had a fantastic game. This was my biggest worry. Uh, there are lots of free agents we could possibly look at. Some people say Snodgrass. I don't think you're getting on that win wages. The Sims. Uh, there's a fair few that you can go for. But this was the worry I had when going wing out. It leaves us short of cover in the midfield. This was my worry. At half time, it's nil-nil. But oh, a game full of two big injuries for Wednesday. And I'm worried now. I am actually worried because we've been we've been all over them. We know what happens when teams have it where we're all over them. So let's see what happens. Patterson comes on for Fizz. It was going to happen, let's face it. You looked at how Fizz went down. He looked in a lot of pain. Uh, riding around in pain, he looked really uncomfortable. And, and as soon as you saw him at the end, you knew he wasn't coming back on. And it's a shame because he had a really good game and I hope that's not a long term. Canberra gets it in the net and it's ruled offside. And again, Canberra's offside. I said it on the podcast. He is really bad at getting offside and it really done my head. He needs to work on that. But we're throwing everything at this. We are trying our best to get forward and get another goal. We had corners. The corners that are coming in for us, we're not making them work. And if we are, the keeper flapping it on, we really should be doing better. Uh... But it's a fantastic goal to make it 1-0 by Byers. Absolutely leveled it. Top corner. Salute to fans. Absolutely lovely goal. Loved that goal. And we should be at least two up because there was a great opportunity as well. If you're looking at first half, we should be about at least three or four up in theory. But we are the team that don't take our chances. And that's the issue at the minute. We don't take our chances. Uh, but then we get some really bad concerning news. Windak go for a shot. The player lands on him. And he's down for a while. And he goes off injured too. Now, I believe the concussion rule comes into play because their goalkeeper gets off uh, due to concussion. In the first half, so we were able to make a four sub because up until then we've made all our substitutions. So, because Sal came on for Canberra, um, so we bring on Saido Barahino, doesn't do much, but he does something really well at the end, which I'll talk about in a minute, and it's kind of crucial. But 80th minute onwards, we are hanging on, we are massively hanging on. Two or three good goal line clearances by Hook to keep us in it. Bailey then nearly massively messes it up. Doesn't know what he's doing. He's just looking at the ball. He doesn't see the player charging. There's a player charging towards him. Hit the player backside. Could have gone anywhere. Very close to going in the net. And that would have been... They were really getting back into it then. They were really turning the groove, putting the pressure on us. And like we need to see this out. But we do a really good ball in. Berahino notices uh, Lang on the other side, passes it to him from the centre. Lang hits it. It's a wicked deflection, I've got to admit. It's an absolute wicked de deflection. But it goes into the net, and that's all that matters from a Wednesday point of view. It is 2-0 in the end. But the big talking point in this is the injuries that we have got in this game. We have lost Dean five minutes in. We lost Fizz just before half time. And then we lost Windass in the middle of as the second half. I hope these are not long term, especially as such a Windass and well, no, sub that. They're all crucial players now, and these are big players, and the amount of games we've got coming week in, week in week out. It's literally Saturday, Tuesday, Sunday, Tuesday, Saturday or whatever. Something like that coming up really soon. Game coming thick and fast. And we already had the situation where Mass was kept out due to just building me up. We have to be careful now. Uh, we could end up in a real situation if we're not careful. But it's a win. It puts us in, uh, still in, I think it still puts us in eighth place. I will just check the table now. Um, yeah, we're still in, in eighth place. Seven goal difference now. That's creeping up, which is good. Clean sheet as well. Plymouth are on 47 points. Oxford are on 50. Now, there is a good chance of, we could make a puff for it, but it's going to have to be a very 
very good push because the result tonight were 2 0 Bolton versus Cambridge, 2 2 versus Cheltenham. Johnny got smashed 5 0. Uh, Gillingham 1 0. We won 2 0. And a 1 1 for Oxford, which is great for us in terms of chasing. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens next. And we're going to have to keep an eye on some of the games uh, that are coming up. Because Plymouth have got crew. Oh, Jesus Christ. They've got crew, so that could let them go a bit further for, forward. And who have we got this weekend? Let me have a look. we got Burton. Now, Burton are a good team, so we're going to have to play well. And that... Ooh. Excuse me, that's our away picture. The rest, I think the rest of them nearly at home. So we're going to have to do well. But, no, I think the Rotherham game's are way as well. I can't remember. Uh, it's been a long night. But it's it, three points, it's 2-0. But the big story is injuries again. <laughs> 